Welcome to the Tenergy Channel, where we talk about all things power. In today's video, we'll answer some of the most commonly asked questions about Tenergy's solar garden light batteries. So let's get started. What is the difference between the yellow Tenergy rechargeable solar battery and the white one? The yellow and white Tenergy rechargeable solar batteries differ in their chemistry types. The yellow batteries use nickel metal hydride chemistry, while the white batteries use nickel cadmium. Moreover, both types of batteries have two capacity options available. The white batteries come in 1,000 milliamp hours and 1,100 milliamp hours capacities, while the yellow batteries come in 1,000 milliamp hours and 1,300 milliamp hours capacities. Which one should I use nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride battery? When choosing between nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride batteries for your solar garden lights, it's important to consider your specific needs and priorities. While nickel cadmium batteries are generally less expensive and perform better in extremely cold temperatures, their lifespan is usually only two to three years and can decrease under harsh conditions such as overcharging or over discharging. On the other hand, nickel metal hydride batteries are more expensive but offer a longer service life of around five plus years, no memory effect, and better resistance to adverse conditions than nickel cadmium batteries, making them a better overall value in the long run. What type and size of battery is typically used in solar garden lights? Solar garden lights usually use rechargeable nickel metal hydride or nickel cadmium AA, AAA batteries with a capacity ranging from 500 milliamp hours to 1500 milliamp hours. Some larger or high-end lights may use larger batteries like 18650 or 14500 lithium ion batteries, but this is less common. Note that these batteries differ in size and chemistry type, which can affect the light compatibility and performance so make sure to check your light specifications or manufacturer recommendations before buying replacement batteries. Why do the solar lights stay on during the day? Solar lights operate by detecting changes in ambient light levels. When it gets dark, the lights turn on, and when it gets bright again, they turn off. So if your lights are staying on when they shouldn't be, here are some reasons why. Firstly, it's possible that your lights aren't receiving enough sunlight to turn off. You can check if this is the case by examining the placement of your lights to ensure they aren't being blocked by trees or buildings. Additionally, if the solar panel is dirty, it may not be able to detect the change in ambient light, which could prevent it from charging the battery properly. Be sure to clean the solar panel regularly with a soft, damp cloth to remove any dirt or debris that may have accumulated. Secondly, the problem may lie with the light sensor, which is responsible for detecting changes in ambient light and turning the lights off during the day. If the sensor isn't working correctly, the lights may stay on all the time. In this case, you may need to replace the sensor or contact the manufacturer for assistance. Lastly, there could be an issue with the battery or circuitry that's preventing the lights from turning off. If this is the case, it may be necessary to replace the battery or contact the manufacturer for further assistance. However, it's important to note that it's highly unlikely for the battery to cause the lights to turn on during the day since it's not directly involved in the light sensing process. The battery simply stores energy from the solar panel during the day and releases it to power the light at night. If you suspect the battery may be malfunctioning, you can troubleshoot by checking its charge level and connections, or by replacing it with a new one. How long does it take to fully charge the batteries in solar light? Solar lights use the energy from the sun to charge their batteries, so the time it takes to fully charge the batteries will depend on the amount of sunlight the solar panel receives. It can vary depending on the weather conditions, the location, and the size of the solar light. However, if you are charging the batteries in a separate charger, you can estimate the charge time by dividing the battery's rated capacity by the charger's charge current. For example, if you are charging this Sola Premium 1,300 milliamp hours AA battery with a charger that has a charge current of 600 milliamp, the estimated time it will take to fully charge the battery is 1,300 divided by 600 equal to 2.1 hours. How long will a fully charged batteries last in solar light? 
The duration for which a fully charged battery will last in a solar light will depend on various factors, such as the capacity of the battery, the battery's age and condition, the power consumption of the light, and the amount of sunlight the solar panel receives. However, you can roughly calculate the estimated runtime of your solar light by using the following formula. Estimated runtime equal to battery capacity divided by solar light output current. Please check the specifications of your solar garden light to determine this value. For example, if your solar light has a battery with a capacity of 1000 milliamp hours and an output current of 50 milliamp, the estimated runtime of the light would be 1000 divided by 50 equal to 20 hours. Do I need to recharge the batteries to full in a charger before place it in solar light? No, it is not necessary to recharge the batteries to full before placing them in the solar light, as most rechargeable batteries come pre-charged and ready to use. However, if you want the batteries to have a full charge initially, you can either turn off the garden light for one to two nights to allow for a full solar charge, or charge the battery in a charger before placing it into the solar light. It is important to make sure that your solar light is located in an area with sufficient sunlight during the day for optimal charging. Can I use these batteries for regular battery-powered devices like remote control? Yes, you can use these batteries as a rechargeable AA battery for household devices such as remote controls, wireless mice, or keyboards. However, it is important to note that the capacity of these batteries is lower than that of a standard household battery, which means that they may need to be recharged more frequently if used in high-drain devices, such as game controllers. Can I replace a 500 milliamp hours or any other milliamp hours rating nickel cadmium AA battery to a 1000 milliamp hours or higher capacity nickel metal hydride AA battery? Yes, you can. Both nickel cadmium and nickel metal hydride AA batteries have the same nominal voltage of 1.2 volt, so they are generally interchangeable in most devices that accept AA batteries. The MAH rating, which stands for milliampere hour, measures how much energy a battery can store. A higher milliamp hours rating means the battery can store more energy and the device can run for a longer period of time before the battery needs to be recharged or replaced. So, by replacing a 500 milliamp hours nickel cadmium battery with a 1000 milliamp hours nickel metal hydride battery, you can expect your solar light to run for about twice as long before the battery needs to be recharged or replaced. However, there are cases where switching to a larger battery won't increase the runtime of your solar garden light. We'll explain that in the following question. Can I use a battery with a larger capacity in my solar garden light to increase its runtime? The short answer is, it depends. Increasing the capacity of the battery can indeed increase the runtime of your solar garden light. However, if the current battery is not the bottleneck and the solar panel cannot produce enough power to charge the larger battery, then it will not increase the runtime. In fact, it could potentially lead to the battery not being fully charged due to insufficient charging time. For example, if you have a solar garden light that uses a 1000 milliamp hours battery and runs for six hours, but you want to increase the runtime to eight hours, replacing it with a larger 2500 milliamp hours battery may seem like a good idea. However, the solar panel and charging circuitry in the light are designed for a 1000 milliamp hours battery, so the larger battery may not get fully charged in the same amount of time, resulting in a shorter runtime than expected, such as only seven hours. In this case, just because you have a higher capacity doesn't mean the lights will be on longer. If you're not sure which battery to choose for your solar garden lights, the best option is usually to go for the highest capacity battery designed for solar garden lights that fits within your budget. Currently, the Sola Premium battery holds the highest capacity of 1,300 milliamp hours among our solar light batteries, which is typically enough to extend the runtime of your solar lights without worrying about the battery not being fully charged. This is because it usually falls within the charging capacity of most solar panels. Why is my solar light not bright and keeps blinking? If your solar light is dim and blinking, it may indicate that there is an issue with the battery or the solar panel. 
Here are a few possible reasons why your solar light may be experiencing this problem. Battery is low or damaged. If the battery is not receiving enough sunlight to charge, or if it has been damaged due to overcharging or undercharging, or at the end of its useful life, it can cause the light to dim or blink. You can try replacing the battery with a new one to see if it solves the problem. The solar panel may also be a reason for the dim and blinking solar light. If the panel is covered in dirt, it won't receive enough sunlight to charge the battery properly. A simple solution is to clean the solar panel using a soft, damp cloth to remove any dirt that may be blocking the sunlight. However, if the solar panel is faulty or damaged, you may need to replace the solar panel. Inconsistent sunlight can also affect the battery's ability to charge fully. You can try relocating the light to an area where it can receive more consistent sunlight throughout the day. Defective circuitry. If the circuitry within the solar light is defective, it can cause the light to be dim and blink. In this case, you may need to replace the entire light. If you have exhausted all possible solutions and the issue persists, it may be best to contact the manufacturer for assistance. I hope that this answers your questions about the Tenergy Solar Garden light batteries. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.